I watched the recent video of Oprah Winfrey, talk show host, and she was at a rally for Stacey Abrams running for governor, and she was showing her support, and she made some statements uh, that didn't alarm me, but they uh, disturbed me a, a tidbit. And she was talking about our ancestors and all of the things that they sacrificed for us to have a right to vote. How they were, you know, repressed, suppressed, and even oppressed. And she said that their blood was in her DNA. And she further went on to say that voting should be a voting of your particular values. What, what you, You're voting for your values and what you feel important to you as a person irrespective of what party it was but I have an issue with that because I believe from what I have seen that Oprah has more of a white audience than black that Oprah caters to white people more than she does black and that's found evident when you see her talk shows of the recent decade I should say at least because the majority of her audience are all female whites with a few blacks majority white so does Oprah represent blacks in America or even in the world I mean she's a powerful woman she's a billionaire now as of about five or six years she's obtained that status but that's neither here nor there but I'm really getting at the point that she's a c celebrity that most people know her name without even mentioning her last name you just have to say Oprah not too many people across the planet is named Oprah and you can associate her with all of her accomplishments but Oprah doesn't represent me and if you're honest with yourself if you're a black person listening to this she doesn't represent you Oprah Winfrey represents Oprah whatever her agenda is now I applaud her for going to Africa and opening up schools for African children that is a beautiful thing it's a wonderful thing but what about the black children here in America has she opened up an institute of learning for them has she even uh, showed any respect to where she grew up and where she's from to the poor stricken here in America because of all of the influence that Oprah Winfrey has you would think that we would be able to sit on television watch it in the magazine sit on uh, a video that she has done something uh, that's a value for black people in America as a whole there's a reason why at least one reason now that she might have some other reasons but there's a reason that I know for a fact that she's not doing anything for blacks in America and that is because the powers that control Oprah Winfrey will not allow her you see the corporate banks or banksters control the world they control the planet and with that said they control also all of those people that are of color or black that are in position Hollywood black movie stars those that are in any entertainment in any sports in any rap or music uh, arena that are black the powers that be control them they will not allow them to lift up other blacks and open up the eyes of those blacks to education on the level where it's going to cause us to be free and independent they don't want black people to be independent and free thinking Oprah is one of those vehicles that they use to support the white agenda she's not the only one but I'm bringing this out because this is the video that I'm responding to is the fact that she's talking about basically how something 
is affecting her as a black person and she's trying to encourage other black folks to get on board. But ladies and gentlemen, those of you that are black that can relate to what I'm saying and even those of you that are of any other nationality that can relate to this. Our ancestors suffered. Blacks as a whole have suffered over 400 years and even continually. It's just not as covert as it used to be. But it still does exist. Now with that, there are even whites and even white middle class people, families, individuals that are suffering under the bondage of white supremacy. Whether you want to admit it or not, we all are. So, for over 400 years, when we had several presidents that owned slaves, at what point in time in history did they ever apologize to blacks? Any president, at least over the past decade, to include President Barack Obama, who is black, did you ever apologize officially, heartfelt, to the black population for what you did as a nation, as a country, supposedly, to our ancestors and to us presently? I know that there are white folks out there and there are some uh, so-called house Negroes out there as well who are going to say, well, you're talking that slave mentality again and stuff that doesn't exist. Is that because you're privileged? Or is that because you have some sort of a high paying job or you're in some sort of capacity in the government where you're comfortable and, and your annual salary is six figures or more? It's easy for you to say that. But step down a few rungs on the ladder, my so-called brother. And go back to the ghetto. Go back to the hood. Go back to being middle class. Struggling from paycheck to paycheck to make it. And make those assertions. Oprah doesn't represent me. Or any black. 